the basics. The very first step to any part of editing is to have your gameplay or footage recorded for whatever kind of content you're creating. Once you've got your content in its own file from your screen capture or camera, simply drag the file into your project area. These look roughly the same in every software, so this should be easy. Once you've done this, you can drag your footage from the project window to the timeline, just like I drag my videos out too long. Now you need to bring out the old scissors and commence cutting your clips. On DaVinci, it's the same as Premiere, but you press B, pushing the turn. After an hour or two of chopping and an eternity of questioning your life decisions, we now have a super cut. This represents the final video in its barest form. From here onwards, we'll be adding layers and layers of polish to this. The first thing on my to-do list is always position and scale. This is where we can direct the focus of the viewer through the power of editing. In DaVinci, you go to this inspector section thing and then change it there. For some reason, I wanted to keyframe it just to see how it goes. And all you do is click these icons here, move forward a couple of frames, and then change the position and zoom variables and it will create that next keyframe for you. But you don't need to do this. For those who cannot hear good. If you, like me, can hear absolutely fine, then you might be looking at this title and thinking, <laughs> what the shit is this guy on about, okay? Who the fuck is this guy? And why am I even watching this shit? Well, boy do I have some news for you. Subtitles are the newest trend of the 21st century, and also the biggest fucking bore to make. So how do we do this, Finn? How do we edit subtitles and enjoy it, Finn? Help me, Finn! Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. I got you. I highly recommend that you check out my existing subtitles tutorial if you haven't already. It really seemed to hit home with you guys. But I'm gonna summarize here for you. I'll right click and add a subtitle track right above your main track. You head over to the right here and click create caption. This then gives you a default template to work with. This is what I found to look best. With all of these softwares, there's a way to duplicate the text, either by alt dragging, control dragging, or copy and pasting. So save yourself some time and do that, please. Transitions. How you get from A to B has never been so important. Transitions can make or break the pacing of your videos. So when you do them, figure out a theme. For example, on this horror game video, I used camera glitch effects to add a VHS tape kind of feel. I think it worked pretty well. The most common and often multi-purpose transition to use in your videos will be the whip pan from left to right or right to left. In DaVinci, a very similar process to Premiere. Firstly, I added a push transition effect in between the two clips, shrink it down to the size you want, then head over to effects, add an adjustment clip, and then head over to open FX, add directional blur. This can be changed in the open effects menu on the top right. Change the border type to replicate, just in case and then keyframe the blur strength to the highest in the middle and then the lowest on either end. Music and sounds. Possibly the most important part to any edit is the sound effects and the music. Now, idiots may tell you that this is easy to do, but I'm here to tell you that it's not easy. This is hard. This is the final boss battle of every edit for me. It always decides whether it makes them or breaks them. So treat them with some respect. You son of a bitch. Like I've been saying, if you want a full tutorial on this, please go check out my sound effects video. I think it applies to about every software anyway, and it was a pretty fun video. In DaVinci, you simply double click the file in the project window, and it'll pop up for you. Like in Premiere, use I and O on your keyboard to select the area you want. Now drag that into the timeline. Volume control is a bonus here and is really easy to use. So in summary, DaVinci, good. 